I'm out here fixing this nasty lawn and my message to you is, is don't wait. Put everything down right now. There's no reason not to do it. That's what we're gonna talk about, so hold on. All right, so uh, <laughs> we finally landed four hours. We've unpacked. I already took the girls for a golf cart ride, which is mandatory. They demand it. Uh, I went out back, I cut the back grass. I'll show you that here in a minute. And then I'll show you the front zoysia, which is really crappy looking right now. Kind of looks like a mix of maybe a little bit of grub, but fungus and just weak. It just needs to be fed and pushed, to be honest. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna grab the real mower and uh, I think I'm gonna give the front a cut. I don't wanna do too much today, but man, I just can't shut myself off when I see this. I think I'm gonna real mow it, scalp it down, cause I'm just gonna hit it hard with some fast release. I have, thankfully I have some green chalker here. I'll put down some green chalker. I may put down some 10, 10, 10. Just anything that's fast release so I can push it. I'll probably put down a little bit of double kill out here, and I don't know, maybe a little fungicide. I'm just basically just gonna hit everything with it. Just see what works. Man, I got jets flying overhead. I got bulldozers going down the road. <laughs> Anyways, let me stress this point to you. There's a limited growing season and there's a limited window where you can fix things. And I've done this many, many times, like the world's ugliest lawn. A lot of you guys, all you old subscribers, have seen me fix that. Basically what I do is if you have a ton of weeds, go to Lowe's or Home Depot, I don't care what you use, find the right weed killer, put it on the end of a hose and spray your lawn and kill all your weeds right away. But a lot of people think they have to wait and you don't have to wait. Immediately, right behind that, go ahead and put down your product. So if you think you have some grubs, put out some grub killer. If you think you have fungus, put out some fungicide. And then right behind that, start putting out the positive stuff put out your fertilizer same day put out your fertilizers the same day put out dirt booster the same day it doesn't matter i'm going to come down here and i'm going to show you i put everything on my lawn literally in four hours i cut it with the real mower i cut it with the honda i picked up all the clippings i came back out here i put every product i had down in the basement i put it on the lawn and i started watering i've got a limited window i'm going to be down here for like three weeks or so so I want to see some results. So this Zoysia lawn looks like crap and I got to fix it. That's what I'm here to do. All right, so step number one is I am going to scalp this down low. I am going to assume that it's something like mole crickets or grubs and fungus. I'm treating for everything. I don't have much time. And then I'm going to come out with all fast release and slow release fertilizers. So I'm out here cutting it with a real mower. And uh, that's where I stand right now on day number one. And it is Memorial Day weekend, so it is busy. See the yellow fence? I'll be treating that. I'll show you a video on that, how I turn it perfectly white in five minutes. Here we go. So I'm waiting on my neighbor's chickens to come in my yard <laughs> and I'm gonna turn on my sprinklers. <laughs> Man, they're huge. Look at those things. <laughs> We're gonna get them. Oh God. This dirt booster is really good stuff. Yeah, we really like this dirt booster. This stuff is just absolutely amazing. So uh, can you order us some more on Amazon? Because uh, I think you're gonna need more.
Are those chickens eating your deer booster? That is not good. That is not good. <laughs> oh man, that is just too funny. All right, so there is one benefit to the chickens. <laughs> so I just went over and talked to my neighbor and I told him, the local supermarket's out of eggs. He goes, oh, you need eggs? Here you go. <laughs> so these are right out of the butt. Look at that, aren't they great? So I had to chase the chickens out of the yard. <laughs> they're just eating bugs. They, they're terrorizing the whole neighborhood. They are huge, man. But I feel much better. I pulled up here and I was like, dude, this is not good. So I got uh, got all my treatments down. Ran water last night, ran water this morning. And uh, now I'm gonna go look for bait. I'm gonna hop on my electric bike and I'm gonna go to the back channel and see if the mullet are running. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, cleanup time. So what do we put out all at once? The double kill product. 10, 10, 10. Chicken food, sorry. Dirt booster. Green shocker. And the seed bag. The seed bag. And I put out seed. Everything went out in three hours of time. Get it done. All right, guys, I'm gonna pop in here real quick because I keep getting asked the same question, so I'm gonna answer it real quick. Number one, Doc, I have this problem and I'm just going to tell you right now, get the lawn guides. We created three different websites, one for Bermuda, one for Zoysia, and one for cool season lawns. Those websites have calendars, have answers to all your questions, have product links, have everything. It's free. We don't make you sign up for anything. Just go there, bookmark it, and use it. Anytime you have a question, go there and use them. So go to freelawncareguide.com. At the top, there's a link to the Bermuda and the Zoysia, and then that website is Cool Season. Next, a lot of people keep asking about, Doc, about Dirt Booster, and if I put down a fungicide, is that gonna hurt my Dirt Booster? The answer is yes, it will set it back some, but you know how hard it is to control fungus. It will probably diminish some of the colonization of the mycorrhizal fungi, but it's not gonna kill at all. So that's why, even if you put down a fungicide, still put down Dirt Booster. Hey, you're putting down Humichar, you're putting down organic matter, you're putting down molasses particles. Even if the mycorrhizal fungi actually gets diminished a little bit, at least it will. some of it will still have an impact. So those are the two questions I just wanted to pop in here real quick and answer for you. So this doesn't look too bad. Um, so this doesn't look too bad, actually. I had Ryan come down here and put out, I think Combat Extreme or something down here, but I've also got some zoysia that's established back on the sunny portion over here. Now back over on this side over here that gets a lot of shade, um, the zoysia is not there. I got some kind of weird weed grass or something like a baja or grass or something like that. I don't know, but heck it's green. <clears throat> and this really is the first time that it's been green. So in the backyard, I'm actually kind of happy. I actually threw down a little bit of zoysia seed back here and I put down um, green shocker and PGF complete. I'll put down some dirt booster. But man, this is uh, this is this is just a little place for the girls to chase squirrels, go poo, go pee, because we have the whole pool area is back over in here. You see all the weeds and the rocks. I've already treated all those. I pressure washed the entire pool deck. I cleaned out the pool system. I mean, dude, uh, my wife said my wife was talking to her sister and said, "Docs in beast mode." <laughs> I have been going nonstop everything i've been pressure washing the stairs we're going to restain one of those stairs over there pressure washing the whole pool deck cleaning the pool cutting all the grass putting down all the stuff i've just been going nuts dude knocking it out but i do want to show you something really cool while i'm here you remember the bamboo we planted and it was probably about three feet tall <clears throat> look at that is that insane or what that's got to be 20 22 23 24 and it served the perfect purpose because our neighbors, who we like, actually put a deck out back, but they can't see through here. But I do have to get some kind of cable wire or something and pull that up a little bit more so it keeps going upright, but that is insane. Now this is that clumping bamboo. It's not normal bamboo, so it's not like you're going to see bamboo shoots pop up all over your lawn. It's a clumping, um, and it really worked out well. 
fantastic love it rosa sharon trees are doing okay um knockout roses everything looks good i have to i called my uh, palm tree guy because it's time to get the palm trees trimmed we got to get that lined up but overall man the backyard looks great just a little bit of cleanup but man that pool deck was nasty that pool deck was like black so what's my message to you my message to you is pretty simple guys you can like so many times i get questions from people that say doc okay i put down um some double kill how long should i wait before i put down my uh fertilizer or i put down this how long should i wait and what i'm telling you is is the only window where you need to wait is if you put down a weed killer and you're putting down new seed i would say that that's probably the only window where you have to push the pause button and you have to read the label to say and it'll tell you on the label how long before reseeding it may say two weeks three weeks whatever but i'm going to encourage you if you have an ugly lawn if you need to take care of it i've done this so many times before i've gone and sprayed out really really strong weed killers just go ahead and spray it out and that's right after that put out fertilizers right after that put out dirt booster right after that put out humichar i mean and within hours there's no reason to wait um as an example on the front so i put down i literally put down just about everything i could think of i put down fast release 10 10 10 i put down green shocker i put down dirt booster i put down seed um, I cut the lawn before that. I cut the lawn twice. I picked up the extra clippings and then I started watering. And why did I start watering? I started watering because almost all those treatments need to get to the roots, everything. And even if you put down a bug killer, guess what? That bug killer needs to work. If you got grubs, it's got to get worked down into the grubs, which are one to three inches in the soil. So I am watering and watering and watering. Am I maybe watering too much? Maybe so, but I need all of that stuff to get not only into the grass and through the thatch, but I need to get into the soil and down to the roots before I see that. So I am out here watering, literally when the sun's out, I'm out here putting water on it three times a day, pushing that stuff in, pushing that stuff in. I've got a limited window here. I wanna see results. Do I need to scarify that front lawn because it's too thick? I don't know. That's a decision I'm gonna to have to make here pretty soon, but I'll tell you this much, I'm gonna keep it really short and I'm gonna keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Now the back here, <clears throat> the back actually looks pretty darn good. I'm actually surprised. So what I may do is um, I did put down some more zoysia seed because over on this side over here where it gets a lot of sun, the zoysia's actually taken over really nicely. It's nice and thick. Over there, I got some kind of weed grass that I don't know, but it doesn't look bad. And again, this is where the dogs poo and pee, so it's never going to be perfect. But man, if I can keep it like this, I'm going to keep it like this. So it's almost like I have two lawns here. The back is this longer kind of mix, and then the front is all zoysia. Now, my neighbor's coming back um, tomorrow. He has an issue. He's got St. Augustine, and then he tried to plant some other grass. They just redid that whole house over here. And what I may do, uh, I'll probably go over there and help him because he doesn't understand grass. And I'm going to show him how to take those St. Augustine runners that are coming into my yard and use them and stick them into the soil and actually use them as plugs. So I got a bunch of stuff going on here. I'll keep you updated. Uh, I'm going to, the next video, hit subscribe because I'm going to show you guys. If you guys have a well, you're going to want to see this next video because I'm going to show you how to get rid of rust stains in 60 seconds. And uh, I probably will take you guys fishing one time out here since I'm down here for several weeks. But uh, all little projects, I'll try and put some stuff on video for you. And uh, talk to you later. Die.